Hey, welcome back to Tony's Cool Tools. I know some of you are new and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you a tool that'll give you superpowers. Yep, give you 10 times the strength you have. Let me show you how. Many of you are familiar and have used the come along. This isn't the tool we're going to be discussing, but it's similar. The come along has been around forever. It stretches, lifts, and lowers objects. It uses a steel cable and is about 10 feet long. So that's the maximum length that you could use this. But it will lift 2,000 pounds or pull 2,000 pounds. Extremely useful in a farm application, prepping, or in rescue. But what I'm gonna show you next is the next best thing. Now I'm gonna show you a tool that's similar but different. It's the Mazdam A100 power pull. Very similar to the come along, except it uses a rope instead of a braided cable to pull something. The advantage there is you can use unlimited lengths of rope. Now this particular unit is rated at three quarters of a ton or 1,500 pounds. Let me give you some specs on the A100. The tool without the rope is seven pounds. I purchased the A100 model, which has 100 feet of polyester three-strand rope. And the rope and the ratchet tool is 14.3 pounds. As you can see, it is zinc plated. The tool dimensions are 30 inches by 8.3 by 5.3. And it does have a 19 inch lever. And we'll cover this lever in just a moment. As I mentioned, you can use any length of half inch rope with the Mazdam. Now the best part, I told you about superhuman strength. This gives you a 10 to one ratio, or as I mentioned, 1500 pounds of pulling or lifting. Now I call this the poor man's winch. The reason I say that is the A100, the Mazdam A100 has a cost of $142. That's the rope and the puller. Now getting back to the lever, this is 19 inches and that's all that you should be using with it. And don't be a tool and use a cheater bar that'll extend this. This tool is laminated here for a reason. It will bend if you go beyond the 1500 pounds and you're going to have to get another handle then. In the reviews and forums that I've read about this tool, the only thing that I've noticed about the lever is some people complain that this plastic handle loosens up over time and falls off. I've had this one for eight to 10 years and I haven't had that issue. Now I don't use it on a daily basis, but I do use it when I get into a pinch and I'll show you how and where I did that. As I mentioned, the Mazdam A100 kit comes with 100 feet of rope. And this is the three strand polyester rope. It fits into the ratchet wheel here, or the shiv. And these grooves inside, when under pressure, hold the rope and pull it forward or lower it down, either way. And the pulling end of the rope does come with a hook. As I mentioned, this tool has gotten me out of a pinch many times. Let me explain how. Here are some of the uses. First, when my boat winch broke, I was able to bring the boat in and put it on my trailer using this winch. I was able to winch in docks that are on wheels in the fall. I've pulled stumps out with this. An emergency recovery of UTV, ATV, and snowmobiles when they're stuck in the field and you can't get your truck in. And I've also pulled in non-working small vehicles and UTV onto my trailer by myself. The other use for this tool that came in extremely handy is stretching a chain link fence with a stretching tool and then hooking this on to a fixed point, either my truck or something else that I can pull with. But for me, the most beneficial part of this is helping me when I have a snag tree. Yep, everyone who cuts trees eventually will snag a tree or get it stuck. And that's where this is beneficial. Because many times you can go ahead and chunk the tree down, but at some point it's vertical and is a very dangerous situation. With the power pole, I can just hook it at the bottom or anywhere where I feel it's convenient 
and just winch it down. Extremely safe and easy since I have 100 feet of rope. The other major purpose for this is felling trees, especially directional felling. If you want something to go a specific way, this is the tool. The main thing is getting the rope as high up on the tree to get more leverage. But beyond that, all you have to do is ratchet it, tension the tree, make your face cut, and then start ratcheting it. In most cases, no wedges are necessary. All right, now that I've talked about this tool, let me show you how to get it in operation and then we'll show you practical applications of it. Let's take you through assembling the rope now. This is the front end of the machine and the hook end is the back end here. As I mentioned, there's a ratchet wheel and two different pawns here that you work with that release this ratcheting. Put the rope through the front over the wheel, all the way to the back, get yourself enough room, and then you have to push this in. Sometimes it gets a little tough, but, and that's because there's tape on it, but that's it. As you can see, I'm just gonna pull all this rope through. Now we've pulled all the rope in and we're ready to go use it. For those of you who watch me regularly, you know that we had a tornado and straight line winds here earlier this year. For those that are new, check out video 12 and 13. I'll show you the aftermath. But I'm still working on battling this tornado damage. And here's one of the things that the power pull is going to help me with today. This is some of the damage of the trees that were knocked down from the tornado. Now the one I'm gonna be working on today came from that stump right there. It snapped off there at the top, fell down here, but the top portion is stuck up in that tree. Another widow maker, and I'm not too happy with it, and I want to get out of here. I'm not too comfortable standing here filming this. So let's move over and let's get this down. I don't want to take any chances here, but I have to hook this onto the tree. So I'm just going to use the ladder, get me as close as I can up here and attach this to the base of the tree. Not sure how badly this is stuck in that tree, but we'll soon find out. From the tree, we have the line that comes all the way over here. And now we're gonna hook it up to our anchor point, which is this tree. I'll be using a tree saver strap, as well as one carabiner. And all we do is position this around the tree, put it through itself, put the carabiner on, and we're ready to go. And we're gonna attach this to the Mazdam power pole, which is right here. And we're gonna tension this up by just putting, pulling on the rope. And we've already have some tension on here. Okay, we're ready to pull this down. I'm gonna tension this up just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna start ratcheting this. Let's see how that thing comes down now. I guess it's stuck in there pretty good. Boy, 
It was stuck in there better than I expected. Now all I have to do is pull it over. Instead of pulling it all the way into the road here, I think I'm going to reposition the rope and just pull it over to the side. That way it'll fall inside there and I can clean it up later. Because this started digging into the ground here, I didn't think I was going to make it all the way to the driveway and I didn't want it all the way in the driveway as well because I'll clean this up at a later time. So I repositioned the rope and brought it to another anchor point over here along with the Mazdam rope puller. And we're ready to pull that over. I've already tensioned the rope pretty much. Now it's just a matter of winching it over again. And we should have that tree down on the ground in just a minute. There she goes. As you can see, the Mazdam rope puller did its job. We're down on the ground, safe and sound. Numerous times I have mentioned I'm a one-man operation. That means I get no help and I've got to do everything myself. So, looking at this UTV, if it breaks down, it weighs almost 2,000 pounds. Now granted, on flat ground, in neutral, I can pull it and get it close. But there's no possible way that I'm getting it up this ramp by myself. That's where the power pull comes in handy as a recovery tool. And as I mentioned, UTVs, ATVs, snowmobiles, it's compact, easy to store, and does a lot. 1,500 pounds. That's a lot of weight. As I said, it turns you into a superhero. So let's get this UTV up this ramp. I've gone ahead and bungee cord the steering wheel so that it'll steer straight. But since I'm working so slow, I have no issues. I can compensate if I need to. We've got our tree straps hooked up to the trailer here as our anchor. Then we have our Mazdam power pole right here. We've hooked it up to the front of the UTV and though a slow process, we'll winch the UTV up. Here we go. Let's speed this up a little bit. And there we are. Though a little out of breath, as you can see, we did it. We lifted this 2,000 pound vehicle into the trailer by ourselves with super power and the power puller. And that's just one of the benefits of the Mazdam power pull. One of the last tools I wanted to mention that many of us have used in the past for helping us out of a problem by bringing a tree over or tensioning the tree or pulling the bottom of it is a standard ratchet strap. They do work. The problem is there's a very short amount of space in the wheel for you to bring that over. Once you tension it, you only have about maybe six to 10 inches at best, and that's it. So not very practical, but it has worked, has got me out of trouble, and it is a good tool to have on hand. Well, I hope I've shown you how beneficial the Mazdam power pull is for the wood yard. It's helped me out tremendously in the last eight to 10 years that I've owned it. It comes in a variety of different kits. You can either get the uh, power pull by itself without a rope or with a 25 foot rope, 50 foot or 100 foot rope. So whatever you want, they have it available. So if you like this content, 
please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, pass it forward, make the world a better place. And don't be a tool, watch Tony's Cool Tools.